Hello everyone, I'm Tanvi Kaur and I welcome you to this series called RBI 247. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try to discuss them with the help of different questions. So for all those who are there for the very first time, you can subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon for all latest updates and notifications. You can also join our Telegram group. In this very group, we share some free quizzes as well as the updates for all our latest videos. So let's move on to question number one, which says, Cooperative banks are increasingly using outsourcing and RBI has come up with some guidelines to manage the risk in outsourcing of financial service by the cooperative banks. Which of the following is incorrectly related to outsourcing by banks? So we will be discussing what is outsourcing and uh, related to that RBI has come up with a notification where it states certain guidelines which the cooperative banks need to follow when they are outsourcing their financial services. So let us first have a look at these guidelines and then, then we'll answer the questions related to them. So we have two questions related to these guidelines. So let us discuss this in detail. In case a descriptive question comes up related to outsourcing by the banks, then this guide, set of guidelines can really be helpful for you all. So talking about this, cooperative banks, as I've already, as already mentioned in the question, are increasingly using outsourcing and thus RBI has come up with some guidelines which will govern the, the risk management portion with respect to these activities which are being outsourced to the other third party service providers. So cooperative banks are advised to conduct self-assessment of their existing outsourcing arrangements and bring the same in line with the latest guidelines within six months from the issue of this very circular. So if the banks are already outsourcing some of the services, so they need to review their existing outsourcing arrangements. And if they have to come up with some new outsourcing arrangement, then also they have to follow this set of guidelines. These guidelines basically help to deal with the risk management as far as your outsourcing is concerned. So cooperative banks, although if they want to outsource some activity, they don't need a prior approval from RBI or NABARD. But still, RBI and NABARD, they have the power to monitor and inspect such outsourcing arrangements. Okay, so let us first understand what is outsourcing, which we are again and again talking about. So outsourcing is basically uh, getting some services done, some activities performed by third party service providers. Jab aap khud a, as a body, as an entity, wo function na perform karke kisi aur se karwa lete ho. Kyunki ho sakta hai wo jo third party wo service offer karegi, wo usko low cost pe offer kar sakti hai ya wo us area mein specialized hai, to wo better quality ki service offer kar sakti hai. Thik hai? So that is outsourcing where the uh, where you as a bank or as a, any uh, as any entity is getting some of your services performed some of your activities performed by third party outsourcing is defined as the use of third party to perform activities on continuing basis that would normally be undertaken by a cooperative bank itself so why the banks would like to outsource why would they want to get some activities done by third party it might be uh, because they are able to pro provide same service at a lower cost so reduce your costs they might be able to provide the services in a better manner so it will improve the services which will also satisfy the customers or you as a bank if you are not able to perform some services really very well then it will help in enhancing the operational efficiency that third party might be able to do the same thing in a really very better manner which will improve the efficiency and then it will help you get the specialist expertise which you might not have available internally Aapko, suppose cash management hai. आप इत उस एरिया में इतने अच्छे नहीं हो तो आप वो चीज थर्ड पार्टी से करा सकते हो नॉट ओनली फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज यू कैन गेट सम नॉन फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज आल्सो फ्रॉम सम थर्ड पार्टी बट हियर दिस साइड सेट ऑफ गाइडलाइंस आर एक्चुअली फॉर फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज व्हिच आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग व्हेन आई डिस्कस द गाइडलाइंस ओके सो दिस इज आउटसोर्सिंग एंड व्हाई बैंक्स और एनी एंटिटी वुड वांट टू गो फॉर आउटसोर्सिंग नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाई आरबीआई हैज कम अप विद दीस गाइडलाइंस सो लेट अस हैव अ लुक दैट व्हाई आरबीआई इंट्रोड्यूस दीस गाइडलाइंस फॉर योर cooperative banks to provide direction and guidance to cooperative banks to adopt sound to adopt sound and responsive risk management practices for effective oversight due diligence and management of risks arising from outsourcing activities jab aap koi cheez outsource karte ho to us pe risks hoti hai kyunki aap wo cheez khud na perform karke is kisi third party se perform karate ho to kuch set of guidelines ki zarurat hai kuch directions ki zarurat hai jo aapko ek sahi direction dikhayenge guide karenge ki hame kaise function karna chahiye taki hum 
properly apni risks ko manage kar paaye so that's the very objective as stated over here next is the underlying principles behind these guidelines are that the cooperative bank shall Uh, should ensure that outsourcing does not diminish diminish the ability to fulfill the obligations to customers and RBI, and it does not impede the effective supervision by RBI or NABARD. So guidelines की जरूरत इसलिए है ताकि cooperative bank जब outsource करता है कोई चीज तो वो आर वो आप एज अ बैंक आपकी ऑब्लिगेशन को डिमिनिश ना करे आपकी जो भी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी बनती है ड्यूटी बनती है कस्टमर्स की तरफ आर बी आई की तरफ वो आप फुलफिल करते रहो भले ही आपने चीज आउटसोर्स कर दी है इसलिए हमें कुछ गाइडलाइंस की जरूरत है और इसलिए भी जरूरत है ताकि आउटसोर्स करने के बावजूद भी आरबीआई और नबार्ड के पास कुछ पावर्स रहे कि वो आपकी फंक्शनिंग को सुपरवाइज कर सके सो so, गाइडलाइंस नहीं होंगी तो हो सकता है आ, वो थर्ड पार्टी सर्विस प्रोवाइडर कुछ भी करता रहे और कोऑपरेटिव बैंक अप, अपने ऊपर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ना लें वो थर्ड पार्टी पे वो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी शिफ्ट कर देंगे और वो थर्ड पार्टी हो सकता है कि प्रॉपर वे में कस्टमर्स की जो भी नीड्स हैं वो मीट ना कर रही हूँ सो दैट्स वाई वी नीड सम गाइडलाइंस सो दैट the uh, third party providers don't engage in such activity activities which might dissatisfy the customers and also uh, no, uh, rbi and nabard might be able to continue with its supervision so we need some guidelines in hand then is that it's important that service providers in, uh, provider employ same high standards in performing services as you as a bank would have done if not outsourced so guidelines ki zarurat isliye bhi hai taki jo bhi outsourcing aap karo aap un logo ko karo jo high standards maintain karke rakhe jo agar aap as a bank khud wo service provide karte hai maintain karte to standards maintain rahe achhi services de isliye hame guidelines ki zarurat hai then guidelines are to make sure that cooperative banks does not engage uh, in outsourcing that can result in internal control business conduct or reputation com- being compromised or weakened so guidelines ki zarurat kyun hai taki aap kuch set of instructions follow karte raho aur aise uh, logo ko cheeze outsource na karo ya aise activities outsource na karo jisse aapka business reputation aapka internal control aapki functioning ko koi harm ho so that's why we need some directions in place now talking about these guidelines so first set is of guidelines is related to applicability so these guidelines are just related to managing risks with respect to outsourcing of financial services now you might not just outsource financial service but some other services also some technology related things can be outsourced you might outsource the usage of courier catering service housekeeping security of premises archiving of records so ye sab cheeze aap khud na karke ho sakta hai you outsource them but they are not governed by these guidelines these guidelines just govern the outsourcing of financial services and in this also it's mentioned that when you are outsourcing any activities the following are core management functions which you can't outsource so you must remember what are the activities which the cooperative banks can't outsource so they include formulating the policies then internal audit then complying with the kyc norms then is credit sanction and last is management of investment portfolio these things are to be done by the banks themselves they can't outsource these okay then uh, if the banks don't have enough experts available in this area then they can hire some experts they can appoint some experts provided that audit committees assure that they lack such expertise within the bank okay now i'm moving ahead to the next thing which talks about material outsourcing so what is material outsourcing arrangement material outsourcing arrangement are those which if disrupted have the potential to impact the business operations reputation profitability aise outsourcing arrangements jo bahut zyada material hain bahut zyada important hain bahut significant role play karti hain aur unme koi problem aayi to aapki reputation aapki profitability ko harm pahunchega the so this during the inspections rbi and nabard can review the implementation of these guidelines uh, why in order to assess that the quality of risk management system is maintained especially in respect of these material arrangements okay how you can determine now if any arrangement is a material one or not in that case you need to assess the activities how important is that activity for your bank what are the risks associated with it okay then what is the impact of that activity on your earning on your solvency on your liquidity on your capital on your risk profile if you outsource that activity then uh, how much harm can that activity 
have on your business's reputation or on, on your bank's reputation jab aap usko outsource karoge to uska aapki bank ki reputation pe kya impact padega what is the cost associated with us uh, with outsourcing what is the aggregate exposure to that particular service provider are you taking the uh, just are you taking all this uh, are you outsourcing all your services to one service provider are you highly dependent on them or you are using the services of different service providers then is how much significant is that activity with respect to uh, customer service and protection so all these things help to determine if any outsourcing arrangement is a material one or not now the third set of guidelines relate to the role of the cooperative banks even if you outsource something as a bank if any activity is being outsourced that does not mean that cooperative bank is not responsible for it cooperative bank is is actually responsible for all the activities even the ones which are outsourced so the outsourcing of any activity by cooperative bank does not diminish its obligations uski duty uski obligation khatam nahi ho jati board ceo management are responsible for the outsource activity they will be responsible for actions of their service providers uh, so ho sakta hai ki service provider customer ki information ka misuse kare confidential na rakhe usko so us case mein bhi cooperative banks will be held liable okay so it's the duty of cooperative banks to basically make sure that what whoever is being appointed as a service provider actually meets certain criteria and is good enough so that it doesn't harm the cooperative bank's reputation now talking about the set of risk management practices so we'll be discussing around 6 to 7 things which uh, talks about how the risks can be better managed when you are outsourcing some of the activities so for that first and foremost thing is to have a outsourcing policy the bank should uh, formulate a proper policy and that proper policy for outsourcing should be approved by the board ab aap policy bana rahe ho ek outsourcing ki usme kya kya hona chahiye usme ye criteria hona chahiye ki kaun si activity outsource karoge kisko outsource karoge kin parameters pe aap decide karoge ki hame inko outsource karna hai so all these things are part of your outsourcing policy the criteria of which activities to outsource who to whom to outsource why you will select some particular service provider then the parameter for deciding some activity to be a material outsourcing arrangement and then the criteria that how much authority you want to delegate and all those things okay then talking about the second thing which is the role of the board ceo and senior management as i have already mentioned inki hi ultimate responsibility banti hai bhale hi aapne wo activity outsource kar di ho so board ceo and management are responsible to have proper governance mechanism properly make sure that there is a proper risk management process to govern your outsourcing operations so board will decide which activities are to be outsourced approve such activities it will provide the framework to evaluate the risks okay then it will undertake the review of the framework to make sure that whatever a framework you have formulated to deal with the risk especially associated with your outsourcing activities that continues to have relevance effectiveness soundness and safety so time to time a framework banana risks ke sath deal karne ke liye aur usko updated bhi rakhna is the role of the board and then the role of the ceo and senior management is that the role of ceo and senior management is to evaluate the risks and uh, the materiality of all existing or prospective outsourcing based on framework approved by board so ye jo bhi board ne framework banaya hai uske according aap risks evaluate karo you can you have to develop and implement sound procedures in your bank which match up with the outsourced activities nature then you need to review this policy procedure you have made you need to communicate the risks which might come up to the board in a timely manner so jo bhi aap cheez outsource kar rahe ho sakta hai koi nayi risk aaye to wo risk ko board tak communicate karna periodic review karna outsourcing arrangements ka so that you can identify the risks is again some important roles played by ceo or the senior management now talking about the third thing it is to properly analyze the risks associated with outsourcing bahut si risks hai outsource karne pe to wo sari risk ko identify karna ye aapke ceo ka kaam hai aapki senior management ka kaam hai usko board tak communicate karna taki proper risk management process follow kiya jaye is all very important okay so there are different types of risks which might come up during outsourcing like strategic risks where the service provider is providing the service 
he might not be meeting up the his basic objective might conflict with that of the bank so such problems might come up reputation risk is there that the service provider might not be able to render service in a really good manner which can harm your reputation as a bank compliance risk uh, th that the service provider might misuse the privacy of the consumer's information there are operational risks that they are uh, that the third party might, might might not be able to render service in a proper manner there might be technology failure some fraud some error which will affect your reputation also then legal risks you are omitting something committing some kinds of errors because of which the penalties can be imposed then exit and strategy risk you are highly dependent on some third party so it's very difficult to get out from a contract then the counter party risk that uh, due to inappropriate underwriting or, or credit assessments these kinds of risks might come up aapne just part you have outsourced to some party and you have not properly seen their credit position credit worthiness then the contractual risk that you might not be able to enforce the contract the terms and conditions which you have entered into country related risk some political social climate might add up to the risks associated with the activities you have outsourced and then there can be concentration or systemic risk as well where you are not able to control the activities provided by the service provider so you have to evaluate the risks in a timely manner then is evaluating the capability of service provider sahi service provider select karna outsourcing mein bahut important hai so you need to exercise due diligence to appoint the service provider you can ass uh, assess their qualitative you can focus on different qualitative quantitative financial operational reputational factors okay you should see that the system of the third party matches with your organization system then wherever possible try to uh, see the independent reviews market feedback on some service providers try to assess their past experience financial soundness business reputation what control systems they are following how they are performing in the external environment okay then um, are they going to provide the service just to you or they are providing it to other banks as well so ye sari cheeze aapko assess karni zaruri hai unka past experience kaisa raha hai financially kitne sound rahe hain unki reputation kitni achhi hai उनके सिस्टम्स आपके फर्म बैंक के सिस्टम से कितने अच्छे से मैच करेंगे सो so, ये सारी चीज़ें आपको देखनी चाहिए तब आपको एक सर्विस प्रोवाइडर सिलेक्ट करना चाहिए ताकि आपकी कम से कम रिस्क्स अराइज हों जब आप कोई एक्टिविटी आउटसोर्स करोगे देन इज हैविंग अ आउटसोर्सिंग अग्रीमेंट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू स्पेसिफाई द टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन एंड हैव अग्रीमेंट विच इज वेटेड बाई लीगल काउंसिल एक लीगल डॉक्यूमेंट होना चाहिए जिसमें सारी टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन आपकी होंगी एंड द टर्म्स शुड बी सच दैट दे प्रोवाइड सम फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी टू द बैंक दैट दे कैन एक्सरसाइज सम कंट्रोल ओवर दी थर्ड पार्टी सो दीज आर सम टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन स्पेसिफाइड यू कैन जस्ट रीड दैम यू विल गेट एन आइडिया दैट दी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वॉट शुड बी देयर इन अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लाइक यू शुड हैव टर्म्स लाइक यू कैन चेक दी बुक्स यू कैन ऑडिट दी एक्टिविटीज ऑफ दी थर्ड पार्टी दी आर बी आई इन अबार्ट दे कैन हैव अ चेक ऑन दी थर्ड पार्टी सो ऑल सच थिंग्स द टर्मिनेशन क्लॉज दी नोटिस पीरियड ऑल दीज थिंग दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स शुड बी स्पेसिफाइड सो यू कैन गिव इट अ रीड ओके नेक्स्ट सेट इज टू हैव अ प्रॉपर प्रोसेस टू कंट्रोल दी आउटसोर्स एक्टिविटी टू मॉनिटर दोज एक्टिविटीज सो अ सेंट्रल रिकॉर्ड of all material outsourcing should be made and that record should be updated time to time now and then the last thing this is the seventh thing last thing is the redressal of grievances related to outsourcing so koi bhi problems aati hai jo activities outsource ki hai unko aap bank ki website pe bank ke against jo complaints aa rahe hain us pe hi handle kiya jana chahiye cooperative banks shall give publicity to grievance redressal machinery within the bank by placing the information on the website as well and it should be clearly indicated that cooperative banks grievance redress and machinery will also deal with issues relating to the services provided by the outsourced agents so this was the whole set of guidelines related to outsourcing now if i move back to the question the question talked about the incorrect statement first is correct because it talks about the definition of outsourcing these three are correct because they tell some benefits associated with outsourcing the only one incorrect is option b that outsourcing increases the cost we outsource to reduce to get the benefit of reduced cost okay ho sakta hai kuch there might be a case 
case where the cost of outsourcing is more but you are outsourcing because they are offering really very good service but out of all these options this is the most unlikely thing to happen so the answer is option b moving on to question number two which is related to these guidelines RBI came up with some guidelines to manage the risk in outsourcing of financial service by cooperative banks. Which of the following are correctly related to these guidelines? So the first one is correctly related. Second is incorrectly related because you can't outsource all core management functions. Okay. And the third is also incorrect because ultimate responsibility is not of third party but yours as a bank. So only answer option A is option one or statement one is correct. So answer is option A only one. Now moving on to question number three, which says RBI notified RBI notified some instructions related to appointment of chief risk officer in primary urban cooperative banks. RBI has decided that all urban cooperative banks having an asset size of dash shall appoint a chief risk officer. CRO UCB is meeting the prescribed criteria on 31st March 2021 shall appoint a CRO by 31st March 2022. So what's the answer? What uh, is the limit which has been prescribed for here, over here? So RBI has come up with a notification where it said that cooperative banks need to appoint a chief risk officer. So which cooperative banks need to appoint? The urban cooperative banks whose asset size is of 5,000 crores or more, they have to appoint a chief risk officer. So answer is option B. Let us have a look at this very notification. So what RBI says that all urban cooperative banks jinka asset size is zada hai ya itna hai, unhe chief risk officer appoint karna padega. And the role which that chief, uh, chief risk officer will play will be determined by the board. Now talking about why it is important to have a chief risk officer, why RBI has come up with this notification. The reason is that the businesses of the banks are expanding. Bank just uh, way may function karta hai, uska function, uska size increase ho hai, scope of activities increase ho hai, basically banking business increase ho hai. So the more the business you do, the greater are the degree of the risks which might come up. So it's very important to manage the risks. So along with risk management committee, the uh, the cooperative bank should also appoint a chief risk officer who will be dealing with the risk management. So that's the reason why every UCB focuses on putting uh, focuses their attention on putting in place appropriate risk management mechanism. And a part as a part of this risk management mechanism, UCBs have to appoint the chief risk officer. So talking about the instructions in this regard. What will be the position of CRO? Uski jo position hogi wo ek senior official ki position hogi. CRO is going to be a senior official in the bank talking about the bank's hierarchy. Then what qualifications are needed? He needs a qualification, professional qualification or experience in the area of risk management. Next is the tenure. His tenure will be decided and approved by the board. So if board wants to remove that person, transfer that person before completion of this tenure, which will be decided by the board, then the approval, if a CRO needs to be transferred or removed, then the approval of board is needed and the same needs to be reported to the regional office of RBI as well. Now talking about the independence of CRO. So board shall put in place measures to safeguard independence of CRO. CRO might have to report to the MD, the CEO, or he might have to report to the board, or he might have to report to the risk management committee. So when he is uh, reporting to MD or CEO, at the same time, he should not be reporting to board or RMC. Alag-alag time pe, alag-alag logo ko report karna chahiye, ek hi saath nahi karna hoga, that's the guideline. Then it, the very important thing over here to ensure independence is that CRO shall not have reporting relationship with any business verticals and shall not be given any business targets. Usko business ki activities mein jo banking ki business activities hai, usme involved nahi hona hai. Usko sirf risk management ke saath deal karna hai. There shall not be any dual hatting. Dual hatting matlab ye nahi ki wo do alag alag role perform kar raha hai. Wo CRO hai to bas CRO ka hi role perform karna hai. He should not take up the responsi other responsibility, other positions like that of CEO, CFO, Chief of Internal Audit. At time only one function of that of a CRO needs to be performed. He should not take up different positions. He should not involve in the business 
targets of the banks okay so what will be his role his role will be to establish a risk management system proper risk management system to identify to measure and to monitor all the risks which might come up okay he should also monitor not only monitor the risk but also take steps to mitigate the risk so sub risk kon kon si risks hain banks ko kaise wo mitigate ho sakti hain wo sara kuch cro dekhega in urban cooperative banks if they follow a committee approach to give any approval for credit sanction to give any credit sanction or credit approval then if ceo is also involved in that process then he shall have a voting power and all members will be held individually liable for all aspects so agar ek committee bithai jati hai jo aapka sanction karegi credit aur usme agar cro bhi ek part le raha hai to usko bhi voting power milegi ki wo sanction dena chahe after considering all the risks wo koi credit ka sanction de sakta hai ya na bhi nahi bhi de sakta aur agar wo us credit sanction process ka part nahi hai to uska kaam hoga bas ek tarah se advice dena कि इस चीज में इतनी रिस्क है आपको यहाँ पे क्रेडिट देना चाहिए या नहीं देना चाहिए सो इफ सी आर ओ इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ क्रेडिट सैंक्शन प्रोसेस हिज रोल विल बी लिमिटेड टू दैट ऑफ एन एडवाइजर एंड इफ दर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक डजेंट फॉलो द कमिटी अप्रोच देन इन दैट केस ऑल्सो सी आर ओ विल जस्ट प्ले द रोल ऑफ एन एडवाइजर ही विल नॉट सैंक्शन द क्रेडिट बट ही विल गिव एन एडवाइज दैट वेदर यू शुड गिव अ क्रेडिट और नॉट सो ऑल क्रेडिट प्रोडक्ट्स शुड बी वेटेड बाय अ सी आर ओ with respect to what are the risks associated this is the role which cro is going to play now last thing under this is the risk management committee so we should not just have a cro but also a risk management committee primary responsibility of risk management lies with board so the uh, urban cooperative banks which meet the criteria the criteria is stated 5000 crores or more asset size they need to set up a risk management committee also by 31st march 2022 so ye guideline mein di bataya gaya hai ki un urban cooperative banks ko na hi sirf cro appoint karna hai but risk management committee bhi formulate karni hai ucb who meets that criteria of 5000 crore or more okay as on 31st march if they are meeting that criteria then they have to appoint a cro within a one year's time span but if the urban uh, cooperative bank is not meeting that criteria on this date okay but it is going to meet it in the subsequent financial year then within 6 months from the end of that year they have to appoint a cro so this is the requirement of appointment of cro and to have a risk management committee so the answer we we have already answered the question moving to fourth question which is also related to these instructions only so i uh, identify the statements which are correctly related to rbi instructions for appointment of chief risk officer in primary urban cooperative bank so here if you see the first statement is correct that the experience in risk management is needed second is correct that for ensuring independence there shall be no, no dual hatting and the third is incorrect because it says that cro shall have any reporting relationship with all business articles and be given business targets no there should be independence maintained and he should not be involved in these functions so this is incorrect the correct ones are first and second answer is option b this was all for today's session with this i would like to end up this session thank you so much